There are many things that come to mind when you think of small towns in the American South. In my own experience, I had made certain presumptions. What I hadn't foreseen, something that is so characteristic of the town of Hillsborough, was a dynamic art scene. Works from artists in the area are reflected in the windows of every other storefront in town. The Hillsborough Gallery of Arts is a gallery owned and managed by a collective of artists living in the local area. The space allows visitors to get a feel for the diversity in art forms and traditions Hillsborough has to offer. Eduardo La Patina, an Italian-born Argentinian abstract painter, is one of these artists. Eduardo studied medicine at University in Buenos Aires and had a successful career in cardiovascular research, traveling across the world, sharing his findings. From a young age, he suffered difficulties with his physical health and spent a lot of time in hospital. This offered him time to learn how to express himself in different ways, and so he turned to poetry. And in 1962, in his early 20s, Eduardo published a collection of his work on the theme of melancholy. Eduardo's poems reflected the inner struggle of a man confronted with the limitation of the body at the same time as his spirit yearns for something more. Eduardo's ability to write poetically comes across in his artwork today with such titles as Calming the Sesh in My Spirit, The Magical Gardens of the Soul, and Living Outside Time. I was intrigued to discover the process of this work and to understand his approach. Painting for Eduardo is a way for him to enter the world rather than to escape from it. He had begun painting just over 20 years ago when his multiple sclerosis had worsened and he wasn't able to continue carrying out research. In a room with natural light and abundance and overlooking his garden, Eduardo largely taught himself his craft. Upon a blank canvas, Eduardo begins in which he adds a layer of paint instinctively, without any preconceptions. He does not concern himself with what the finished work will look like or what it will evoke from the viewer. Layer by layer, applied in different ways, Eduardo mixes different paints guided by thoughts I think only he can control. A significant aspect of the process consists of him reflecting on conflicting thoughts. In his view, painting is comparable with the work he did previously, in the sense that you do not know exactly which direction the painting will take. Just as with experiments in science, the outcome on the canvas can look very different to how it is preconceived. This level of uncertainty offers him a sensation of freedom, where he allows ideas to compete until he controls ones that are then translated onto the canvas. Eduardo regularly invites friends to share their responses to his paintings. These include friends who have known him for a long time and appreciate the opportunity to admire his work. When he finishes a series, he transforms a room in his house into a gallery where his paintings are exhibited. It is clear that everyone who steps in front of his paintings and pays close attention to the detail in this work feels something extremely different. Different interpretations are, and emotions are evoked, and this, in my opinion, is what makes his work intriguing. In his own view, a painting opens a door into a space in which a play may be staged, where conflict and resolution come together. His paintings are a reflection of his inner thoughts, forming a spatial connection between what lives within him and what lives in others. Eduardo's family is really important to him. He married in Argentina and has three children who have now left the house. Two live and work in New York, while his youngest has stayed in North Carolina. Though his children have started young families of their own, they return with their children. The time he's able to spend together with his family is filled with enjoyment. And as the years go by, his children continue to return when they can to celebrate his birthday with him, allowing his grandchildren to get to know their extraordinary grandfather, including all the things that might surprise them. As I reflect on the past three months and the time I shared with Eduardo, I'm full of gratitude. I've learned from him and aim to think back on this in the future, to accept struggles and uncertainties and to embrace them layer by layer, and that as one door closes, another one with infinite color opens.